Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're gonna have a look on how to build the basic InfoPath form. So open InfoPath Designer and choose New and Blank Form. You wanna open up a blank form uh, with two sections, the title and uh, the section where you can add tables, right? In my opinion, InfoPath has come a long way, I believe, and uh, with the 2010 release, it became a very powerful tool for gathering data in an enterprise and for passing documents around for approval. The form can be connected to a SharePoint library, SQL database, or simply sending data by email. We'll talk about these options in a later training. Uh, so let's create a simple form, a form that can be sent to a user or a user can open it from an enterprise website and input the requested data in. We'll assume a help desk that wants all the requests for new hardware to come to them in an InfoPath form so they can priorita prioritize and address the requests. So we'll create a form for that specific purpose, right? Let's say we want the user to input the following data. Uh, last name, first name, email address, phone number, let's say department and the equipment requested, right? To arrange it properly, we'll need a cell for pointing out the necessary information and one cell for the actual gathering data fields. So let's create a custom four by three table, right? So insert custom table and let's do a three by four, right? We can expand it over here, then expand the table. And usually I like to give it a shading as well just to give it a business-like look. There we go. All right. Now, in these six cells over here, we're going to input whatever data we need uh, collected, right? So let's see. We said last name, uh, first name, uh, said email address right phone number department and hardware requesting all right so now we have the data that we require from the user let's arrange them we're gonna do a center left so it looks good now we need to create the actual fields that the user will uh, will uh, use to input the data right we're gonna go to my fields right click add and we're gonna add the fields one by one corresponding to the data that we need gather right you should make this um, fields these fields are uh, I don't know uh, meaningful right so Let's, what I usually do, I do HRF, which will be the name of the form, hardware request form, underscore, and the name of the field, right? So let's do last, HRF last. All of them will be text, right, for now. HRF first. HRF. Email HRF phone HRF department. HRF hardware and we're going to create a new another field for the title HRF title I like to put the title as a field just because later on we might use it for the submission process or to when we add the form to a library so we can actually point out the, the form, right? So let's drag the fields where we need them. The title is going to be over here. We can take this out. 
for the title right click text box, text box properties the default value will be as we said hardware request one align to the middle center apply okay and double click on it and make it read only so the user cannot modify it right let's drag the other fields last first email phone department and hardware right we'll take out what we all need which is the actual name of the field we don't need this go okay, make it nice and clean double click on each one of them and make them re uh, cannot be blank so the user cannot submit the form unless he or she inputs the data there we go all right so now it's ready you have a basic Infopath form that the user can fill in and send to the help desk, right? If you click on preview, you're going to see how the form will look like for the user. So there you go. Right, so over here is going to put the last name, let's say, campaign, email address, or dot com, for example, phone number, whatever department let's say sales how to request it he requests a monitor there you have it and then he's going to submit and uh, then we have a, a basic info back form right in the next training we'll see how we can publish the form and set up a submit function but that's it for today thank you for watching visit my blog watermarked on the video and let me know if you have any questions or there is something that uh, something else about infopath that you would like to see thank you